This is Aldine, the punk rock farmer. As the growing season winds down, it's time to start planning for next year with a little seed harvesting. To find out more, I visited with my friend Jonathan Kay, who grows the majority of the food he needs right in his yard on Salt Lake City's west side. First, he harvests the seeds from the best fruit and veg. Tomatoes like heirloom, so you take your, you find your best uh, Cherokee purple, find your best pineapple. You take that, set it aside, slice it up, and then you let that ferment because you got to get that gel pack off the seed, and then you collect all the seed out of it. And I always just put it in an airtight bag. So the gel pack is that just that it's, little clear little bag that's around that's all around the seeds. The seed, but that there keeps it from sprouting inside the tomato plant, or else it would be you'd have a bunch of little tomatoes growing inside of it. Huh. So so you got to do that to get you got to do that to get at the seed. Peppers peppers are relatively easy. You always and with seed saving, you always save the best one. The other day we found this big giant bell pepper, so I took them out and I just set it inside of a bowl and set it on the dining room table and I'm going to let it sit and dry. And the key thing is to get them good and dry and once you got it dry, I just put it in a Ziploc bag after it's dry and just keep it in a cool place. Some people, some people put them in a the refrigerator. But peppers and tomatoes are really easy to save. So different, so different plants here. There's different methods. Obviously, the tomato is kind of weird because it has a little sack around it. Right. But um, corn, I, corn, you just you can save it right on the cob for all that matters. Just take the cob out, make sure it dries out there thoroughly. Save it on the cob. Obviously, label everything that you're doing. Always take the best one. Uh, we save a lot of our 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 caraway. We save a lot of our dill seed. A lot of the herb seeds are really easy to save. What about garlic? Garlic, garlic obviously. Garlic's one of the best ones in Utah. I mean, I started out getting my garlic from Sand Hill Farms after I did it for way too long, buying the garlic in the store and trying to plant that. So you get garlic that's acclimated to your climate, and I always save the big ones. We're going to be planting that. Garlic in Utah should be planted in the fall. The best time is between the 1st of October and the 15th of October. So you're saving the the ones that the biggest ones that you grew in July that you harvested in July. Correct. You're putting aside and it's cool to plant those in the fall. Yep. You plant those in the fall. You you carefully break them up. You don't want to bruise them. Rootstock down. Rule of thumb is I usually plant about 3 inches deep so you don't have to worry about frost heave. And then I usually plant in rows 6 to 8 inches apart and 68 inches between them. That's Jonathan K. sharing a few of his fall gardening tips. I'm Al, KRCL's Punk Rock Farmer, and I want to see what's going on in your garden. Snap a photo and post it on Facebook, then tag the Punk Rock Farmer and KRCL. Until next time, here's to making all our thumbs a little greener on 90.9 FM KRCL. See the farmer on the other side of town. It's always working hard till the sun goes down.